Imagine a night sky ignited with vibrant hues of green, pink, and purple, shimmering and dancing like flames in a celestial fireplace. The Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, are one of nature's most mesmerizing phenomena, captivating the hearts and minds of those who witness them. This captivating spectacle, known as the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights, has captivated humankind for millennia. Ancient cultures often wove myths and legends around these lights, believing them to be spirits or omens from the gods. More than just a pretty light show, the aurora is a breathtaking reminder of our planet's intricate connection with the sun and the vastness of space. The lights are created when charged particles from the sun collide with Earth's atmosphere, producing this stunning visual display. The aurora borealis is most commonly observed in high-latitude regions, particularly around the magnetic poles. These areas provide the perfect conditions for the lights to appear, thanks to the Earth's magnetic field guiding the solar particles. Countries like Canada, Alaska, Iceland, Norway, and Finland are renowned for their frequent and spectacular auroral displays. These regions attract countless visitors each year, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the magical lights dancing across the sky. These ethereal lights transform the night sky into a vibrant canvas, inspiring awe and wonder in those fortunate enough to witness them. Whether viewed from a snowy landscape or reflected in a serene lake, the northern lights are a testament to the beauty and mystery of our natural world. To understand the science behind the aurora, we must first venture into the heart of our solar system, the sun. The sun, a massive star at the center of our solar system, is not just a source of light and heat, it plays a crucial role in many cosmic phenomena, including the creation of the auroras we see on Earth. The Sun is a giant ball of hot gas, constantly releasing a stream of charged particles called the solar wind. These particles are primarily electrons and protons, which are ejected from the Sun's outer layer, known as the corona. This solar wind travels through space at incredible speeds, carrying with it a piece of the Sun's energy. The speed of the solar wind can vary, but it typically moves at around 400 kilometers per second, though it can reach speeds of up to 800 kilometers per second during solar storms. Protecting us from this constant bombardment is the Earth's magnetic field, a shield generated by our planet's molten iron core. This magnetic field is essential for life on Earth, as it deflects harmful solar radiation and charged particles. The magnetic field acts like a giant bar magnet, with invisible lines of force extending from the Earth's core out into space, forming the magnetosphere. This magnetosphere is a vast comet-shaped region that protects our planet from the solar wind. This protective bubble deflects most of the solar wind, keeping our planet safe from harm. Without this magnetic shield, the solar wind would strip away the Earth's atmosphere, making life as we know it impossible. The interaction between the solar wind and the magnetosphere also creates stunning visual phenomena such as the auroras, which light up the polar skies with vibrant colors. While the Earth's magnetic field generally deflects the solar wind, some of these charged particles manage to penetrate this defense, particularly around the polar regions where the magnetic field lines are weaker and more vulnerable. As the charged particles from the sun collide with atoms and molecules in the Earth's upper atmosphere, they transfer energy, causing these atoms to become highly excited. This excitation is temporary, and the atoms quickly return to their normal state, releasing the excess energy in the form of visible light. This light is what we perceive as the beautiful aurora borealis. Different atoms emit different colors when excited, which explains the mesmerizing variety of colors in auroral displays. Section 4. Beyond Green Colors and Shapes of the Aurora The most common color observed in the Aurora Borealis is green, a result of excited oxygen atoms about 60 miles above the Earth's surface. This green hue is often the most vivid and widespread, painting the night sky with its mesmerizing glow. The green aurora is typically seen in the lower parts of the auroral display, closer to the horizon. Higher altitude oxygen, around 200 miles up, produces rare red auroras. These red auroras are less common and often appear at the top edges of the auroral display. The red color is a result of the lower density of oxygen at these high altitudes, which requires more energy to excite the atoms. Nitrogen in the atmosphere can create blue or purplish-red hues, 
adding to the visual symphony of the aurora. These colors are usually seen at the lower edges of the aurora and are produced when energetic particles collide with nitrogen molecules. The blue and purple colors are less common but add a beautiful contrast to the more prevalent green and red hues. The shape and movement of the aurora are also quite diverse. They can range from simple arcs and bands to more complex forms like curtains, rays, and spirals. Each shape is influenced by the Earth's magnetic field and the solar wind's intensity. Sometimes the aurora appears as a static band of light, while other times it dances and shimmers in curtains, arcs, or spirals. These dynamic displays can change rapidly, creating a mesmerizing and ever-changing spectacle in the night sky. The movement and shape of the aurora are a direct result of the complex interactions between the solar wind and the Earth's magnetosphere. These dynamic patterns are influenced by the intensity of the solar wind and the interactions between the charged particles and the Earth's magnetic field. When the solar wind is strong, it can create more dramatic and vibrant auroral displays. The charged particles from the sun are guided by the Earth's magnetic field lines, creating the beautiful and intricate patterns we see in the aurora borealis. Section 5. Hunting the Lights – Best Places and Times to See the Aurora Seeing the northern lights is a bucket list item for many, and for good reason. To maximize your chances of witnessing this celestial display, heading towards the high northern latitudes is key. Countries like Iceland, Norway, Finland, Canada, and Alaska offer prime viewing locations. The best time to see the aurora is during the winter months, from September to April, when the nights are long and dark. Clear skies and minimal light pollution are essential for optimal viewing. Various websites and apps provide aurora forecasts, predicting the likelihood of auroral activity based on solar wind data. Section 6. Legends in the Sky, Myths and Cultural Significance Throughout history, the aurora borealis has been a source of wonder, fear, and inspiration, woven into the mythology and folklore of cultures across the Northern Hemisphere. The Inuit people of Greenland believed the aurora to be spirits playing a celestial game with a walrus skull as the ball. In Norse mythology, the aurora was said to be the shimmering armor of the Valkyries, female figures who decided who would live or die in battle and carry the souls of the slain to Valhalla. These myths and legends reflect the profound impact the aurora has had on human imagination and cultural understanding. Section 7. A Timeless Spectacle – The Enduring Allure of the Aurora The Aurora Borealis, a celestial ballet of light and color, is a testament to the awe-inspiring forces at play in our universe. From the sun's powerful solar wind to the Earth's protective magnetic field, the aurora reminds us of our planet's delicate balance within the vastness of space. For those fortunate enough to witness this natural wonder, the experience is nothing short of magical. As we continue to explore and understand the cosmos, the aurora borealis serves as a breathtaking reminder of the beauty and mystery that lie beyond our world, inspiring generations to come with its timeless allure.